So many of us might not be able to afford to buy an expensive camera, but there's one camera that every one of us has. So today I will teach you how to vlog with any smartphone. Hey, how's it going? My name's Jussi and this channel is all about filmmaking tips, tutorials and gear. In this video I'm gonna teach you how to vlog like a pro with a smartphone and the best thing is that these tips will work no matter what phone you have, whether it's Android or an iPhone. So there are many ways to vlog with a smartphone, but today I'm going to be using the Benrose vlogging kit, which includes this tripod and it comes with this mounting plate that allows me to mount my smartphone here. And then on the right side, we've got this cold shoe mount that allows me to attach the Rode Video Micro microphone, which I'm actually currently using on that camera. So that's why I don't have it here. But then I have also this cable that allows me to connect the microphone to the phone. If you're interested in the Benrose vlogging kit, I've got it linked in the description below. But I want to point out that it's not completely necessary because like I said, there's many ways to vlog with a smartphone. And of course, for some people, the most comfortable way to vlog with a smartphone might be vlogging just with your smartphone without any accessories because that way you can be so inconspicuous and it will not draw too much attention to you when you're vlogging in a public space. And it's so easy to carry your phone because you don't have to carry any extra accessories. You can just have your phone in your pocket and whenever you need it, you just pull it out of your pocket and start vlogging. One very important tip when you're vlogging with a smartphone is that you have to look directly into the lens of the camera. Don't look at the screen because when you look at the screen, this is what it looks like. It looks like I'm talking to someone else, not to you. Think about it this way. When you're meeting someone in person and you're talking to them, you maintain eye contact and you look them directly in the eye, not in the forehead. So it's very important to look directly into the lens. When you're vlogging with a smartphone, you can totally use the native app of the camera. And some people even like to use the auto white balance and auto ISO. And the reason why they like to do so is that oftentimes when you're vlogging, you're walking from one place to another where the lighting and the white balance might change very quickly and you might not be able to smoothly adjust the white balance and the settings with the manual settings. So it's easier to use auto ISO and auto white balance. But I personally like to use manual settings and that's the reason why I like to use third-party camera apps when I'm vlogging with a smartphone just to be able to control manually all the settings to make it look more professional. So our game plan is to get some pizza from here, Koti Pizza. But then suddenly it got so windy that my wife, Tia, she had to go back home and get a warmer jacket. So I'm just gonna have to wait for her before we can go and order the pizza. New clothing. Feel warm? Let's get the pizza. Okay, so the idea was that we're gonna get some pizza and have sort of like a picnic by the sea, but the clouds look a little bit intimidating because I'm not sure, it looks like it's gonna rain, but I sure hope that it's not gonna <laughs> rain because that won't be a very pleasant picnic. We hopped into the metro. We've walked like for a couple of kilometers. Now, luckily it's only a couple of hundred meters before we reach the destination but the problem is that it's already starting to rain and I can feel the raindrops and we are finally arriving to the destination ladies first 
I hope you are not disappointed about the location, even though there's no sunset. Take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. Two empty pizza boxes, two full happy stomachs. Right? Now, even though all of those tips that I gave you previously are super important when it comes to making vlogs or videos in general, this last tip is probably the most important tip that I can give you guys. And that's story. Now listen, by story, I don't mean that there has to be a villain or a hero. It simply means that your video has to have a purpose. It has to have a beginning, a middle and an ending. It's that simple. And in this video, the story was that I took tea and my wife on a date. We came here with some pizza and we ate the pizza here by the sea and enjoyed the view and the nature. And of course, I was teaching you guys how to vlog with a smartphone. So there are sort of like two themes in the video and that was the idea. Okay guys, if you found this video helpful and want to learn more I recommend that you watch this video over here or this video here because I think you're really gonna like it. okay thanks for watching and see you again next time take care